Hey, uh, Greg here. So real quick, I'm just going to do first a uh, quick like tactical uh, breakdown of your uh, store. And then I'm going to write a separate um, kind of set of tips and strategies that, that I think are going to be applicable to uh, your situation. So the store itself, like, um, you know, first of all, like these images are really low quality. Like that's the first thing that people see when they land on your homepage and it you know, it's not looking good. The uh, overlay also is blocking like your entire branding and call to action. So um, it's good to get people to leave their email address, but they're not even incentivized to, like they don't know why they wanna do this. Like, do you offer a discount or you're gonna send them, you know, promotions, you know, just small print hard to notice so yeah so this stuff here is you know where you make your first impression um and it's it's hard to see and it's like prop weirdly um you know your value proposition premium quality leather boots and goods you know it's it's good but it doesn't tell me like ultimately your website should tell why should i buy this stuff and why should i buy it from you specifically because guess what i googled it and i can buy these shoes from browns um and even blonde stone own official website and you probably are under map but uh you know the prices are all the same so um it's really your job to tell the end customer why they should buy from you instead of you know any of these uh merchants including the merchant itself so um more on that later but anyways yeah so imagery definitely could be improved especially the screen stuff um and i want you to spend some time on on this like when i click about us this is really just a couple of lines of text i think if you go into your story like how you know you're a veteran and you you started a small family store and post pictures of you and your family and your store um, and feature it prominently on, you know, where people can see it and find it, you know, people buy from people they like. Um, so if they would rather buy from a small business um, than from like a big faceless corporation like Brown Shoes, like maybe that could be your little, uh, little edge. Um, so yeah, definitely invest into, into telling more about your story and your why, why you started the store, like who this is for and why they should buy from you. Um, you know, um, uh, you know, these are pretty plain vanilla pages. They could be, of course, improved. I can, you know, spend more time on it later, but I think it's not yet that time. I think right now you should really think about your unique selling proposition, like why people should buy these things from you and what kind of um, incentives you can provide for them to choose you versus, you know, Blundstone or whatnot. Again, um, just a quick idea. If you're, if you're constrained for price, usually adding some sort of bonuses uh, could help. So for instance, I don't know if you have enough margin, but something like this, a good looking shoe care kit that's only you know a couple of bucks from china you can order that in bulk and then let's say every boots purchaser gets this kit it has a high perceived value it looks like it's worth i don't know 25 30 40 bucks at, at walmart or whatnot everybody gets a free gift and it's not against your uh, minimum acceptable price policy either so that's already a good enough reason for me to buy this from you and not from them let's say right so things like that you could offer uh, digital bonuses, like, I don't know, maybe some sort of a how-to guide, um, you know, how, how to properly wear them, how to uh, make sure they last 20 years and you pass them down to your kids. You know, stories like that are pretty cool. And yeah, that's another thing. You got to get as many stories from your customers with photos and videos um, on the website, like people's faces, not just boots, like that's gonna go a long way so just some some you know initial thoughts on your store and then i'm gonna write a post uh, on other strategies and tactics you can use thanks hope it helps